Hey guys, um, just fly through our Tuesday home workout. Uh, so first Tuesday of lockdown uh, number three. Hopefully this time this might be the last one. Um, so just fly through our mobility work. So pretty straightforward stuff. Um, first thing you're just gonna do is a lat stretch, so banded lat stretch. If you have a band, just hooking it up to something. So same as we would normally do in the gym. If I'm doing my right side, I'm gonna step back with my right leg. Okay, holding onto my band, letting the band pull me forward, lowering my chest down, okay, towards my knee, and then rotating my hand so my palm faces away from my body. Does that make sense? If you don't have somewhere where you can anchor a band to or you don't have a band, we can just do similar, okay, up against the wall or up against a table or chair, okay, so basically it's having there, getting into position, okay, coming down, I'm going to push my head and chest bound all the way right down and through, engaging those lats as much as we possibly can as we do it, and I'm driving down into the wall or into the desk, whatever it might be that you're actually using. Is that okay? After that, we're gonna do some external rotations. Okay, again, we should all know from the gym, just taking a weight, okay, can be nice and light, so if you don't even have a dumbbell, you can still do this with any sort of, kind of just a household object. Okay, so getting a uh, knee bent, Elbow resting on top, from there driving the elbow right down. Okay, nice and controlled movement. All the movement is coming from that shoulder joint all the way back up, down, and back up, warming up the shoulder as much as we possibly can. So you'll do eight on each side with that. And the last thing you're gonna do is just a dumbbell uh, press and hold. So again, what we look to do, we can do this in a half kneeling position. Again, if you don't have a dumbbell or weight light enough, you find this too difficult, again, just grab something in the house there. It's just warming up the shoulder. So all we're gonna do is a press for five reps, four and five, let's say, and then we're gonna hold in that top position, okay? Keeping that arm alongside my ear, holding right up overhead for 20 seconds, pull down, switch over, do five reps on the other side, and then a 20 second hold again. Okay, so usual three rounds of that before we get into our Metcon. So Metcon today, okay, is three different rounds. So it is every minute, okay, on the minute, you'll three different uh, movements that we're looking at. So minute one, you're gonna do between 12 and 15 dips. Okay, so obviously if you're able to, you're aiming for the higher end, you're looking to try and get the 15 done. If you find it a little bit more difficult, you just come back down through the numbers, okay? And um, 12 obviously is uh, the easier version if you, if you need to do that. Then in minute two, you're gonna do 30 to 40 seconds of shoulder taps. Again, if you're looking to or exit or anything, okay, you're looking to try and do the higher end. So you're looking to maintain doing shoulder taps for 40 seconds. If you're struggling with it, you find it too difficult, then stop after 30 seconds. That makes sense. And then last thing that you're going to do is in minute three, you're gonna do max effort kettlebell swings. So the max effort kettlebell swings, this is for no longer than 40 seconds. So you will work for 40 seconds in minute three trying to accumulate as many kettlebell swings as you possibly can okay so minute one 12 to 15 dips so this can be just done if you have a bar or anything table whatever it might be i'm using a chair bit of a swivel chair so adds a little bit of difficulty to it okay so just sitting on your chair hands resting on the edge walking out so legs are straight Okay, for a harder version, knees are bent and feet flat on the ground just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so we're always trying to get our elbows down to a 90 degree angle and driving all the way back up, 90 degree angle and back up. So you do between 12 and 15 of those. Once you've that done, you rest. So the remainder of the minute is your rest period. Okay, then it is shoulder taps. So our shoulder taps, remember we wanna keep good, strong core stability when we're doing this. So hands directly underneath my shoulders. Okay, tucking that pelvis under. Okay, so make sure it's really important that we drive our hands down into the floor and it is a straight line, shoulder to elbow to hand, not with my hand out here in front of me like this. We want it directly underneath my shoulder. Does that make sense? Okay, so then it is making sure that we don't have too much movement, so there's no big wobble and swivel from side to side. Okay, it is touch, touch, touch. So I'm feeling that as much in my core as anywhere, okay? So nice and controlled for between 30 and 40 seconds. Then in minute three, okay, in minute three, 
we will be doing max effort kettlebell swings okay remember what a kettlebell swings it is a hip dominant move okay so all the movement it is like a hip hinge we drive those hips back keeping my chest up eyes are looking forward and then i snap my hips forward okay it's not being lazy it is not a squat it's not doing this it is driving those hips back chest is up eyes are looking forward and then i snap my hips forward so we're just bringing that kettlebell to eye level okay so Kettlebell swing, under, snap my hips forward, under, snap my hips forward. So it is max effort kettlebell swings in that last minute, okay? But you will work for no more than 40 seconds. Okay, guys, that's it. Today you will be keeping track of your kettlebell swings the whole way through this workout.